Hey guys, Chrono16 here. Quick video to tell you how to spot Comet Lovejoy Q2 in the southern sky while it's visible uh, here in the United States or the Northern Hemisphere. Now this comet become visible around December 9th, which is about 10 days ago. Uh, it was only visible in the Southern Hemisphere. Now it's visible here in the Northern Hemisphere. You take your pair of uh, 10 by 50 binoculars, they don't cost that much at all. Uh, looks due south in between Canis Major and Orion or the stars Cyrus right here or Rigel right here in Orion. And there's Orion's belt. We're all familiar with that. Uh, and you look right in between them, just a little bit offset to the left toward the horizon there. You should be able to find Comet Lovejoy Q2 in this area. Now also, if this is, isn't good enough for you, you can download a free program called Stellarium, which is linked under this video. And what I've done here is I went ahead and set this uh, right at midnight Southern time. I'm here in West Arkansas. Have not personally been able to see this comet myself at all. It's been cloudy or raining here for the last month, it seems like, and I have not been able to see this comet at all, but I will be trying to see it on the first good clear night we have here. Download Stellarium, guys. You can actually put the uh, the, the grids in there. We'll kind of help you out there. Uh, this is 10 degrees above the horizon right here with the Cursors. And so the comet right at midnight central time, adjust your times accordingly. On the 19th of December, the comet will be precisely right in this area, which is about 17 degrees above the horizon. Uh, for people who really don't know what I'm talking about, you can just simply use uh, the constellation Orion or the constellation Canis Major right in here as markers, or even better, you can use the bright star, very bright stars, Cyrus and Rigel, okay? Cyrus and Rigel, look in this, go a few degrees below those two stars and look in this area, you should see the comet, which will be green and fuzzy. Again, using Cyrus and Rigel, which is a uh, part of the Orion uh, constellation, you should be able to find the comet down in this area. Just simply scan down in this area, guys for the comet you should be able to see it with a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars uh comets are very cool to to, to spot at night and look at uh and uh, i suggest that if you're interested in that kind of thing to simply go outside and, and uh, try to find it again stellarium linked under this video all corresponding links about the comet is under this video the comet will reach perihelion uh january 30th of 2015 which means it'll reach its closest point to the sun uh, we, the comet will remain visible in the sky to around, I believe, January 7th or 8th, uh, where it will reach its closest point to the Earth uh, and then uh, start heading out toward the sun there. So that's how you see Comet C2014 Q2 Lovejoy in the night sky by doing exactly what I just told you to do with these programs or just simply going outside and looking for it with a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars. Anyway, clear skies. Thanks for watching.